In the year 1931, a group of paleontologists returned from an expedition in southern Montana. Among their findings were the remains of a small theropod dinosaur with oversized teeth. What they did not yet know was that these fossils actually belonged to two species of dinosaur. The skeleton from Microvenator, the earliest oviraptorosaur known from North America, and the teeth from one of the most important dinosaurs to ever be unearthed. The holder of these teeth, Deinonychus, lived during the early Cretaceous period, from about 115 to 108 million years ago. It reached upwards of 3 meters long and could weigh over 70 kilograms. But perhaps its most distinctive feature is a large, sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each foot. This infamous feature has been dubbed the Terrible Claw. Deinonychus likely inhabited tropical and subtropical floodplains across North America, and shared this habitat with other dinosaurs like Acrocanthosaurus and Sauropelta. At the time when Deinonychus was discovered, dinosaurs were generally thought to be slow-moving, cold-blooded creatures. As such, they were often depicted as lumbering beasts with their tails dragging along the ground. However, paleontologist John Ostrom's description of Deinonychus in the late 1960s directly opposed this view. This raptor was clearly an active and agile species, so much so that its very existence led to the dinosaur renaissance, a period of time where our perception of dinosaurs would shift fundamentally. At the center of this scientific revolution was the idea that dinosaurs were warm-blooded, active creatures with a direct link to modern birds. Deinonychus had many features in support of this theory. For example, its forelimbs were remarkably similar to Archaeopteryx, a transitional species of bird-like dinosaur. In addition, eggshell material found beneath the Deinonychus skeleton suggests that this species may have brooded its eggs a behavior that would only make sense if Deinonychus was warm-blooded. While no skin impressions have been discovered from Deinonychus itself, many of its close relatives, such as Velociraptor, have been shown to have wing feathers, further supporting a link to modern birds. A recent study even hypothesizes that immature Deinonychus were capable of some degree of flight due to the mobile nature of their shoulder joint. Deinonychus was certainly a carnivorous species, but the exact nature of its predatory behavior is still unknown. The frequent presence of Deinonychus teeth in association with Tenontosaurus fossils has led some scientists to believe that the raptor hunted this herbivore. And because Tenontosaurus was a large dinosaur, pack hunting may have been necessary for the much smaller Deinonychus to have a chance at success. However, it has been noted that modern birds and crocodiles rarely display cooperative hunting. Instead, they're attracted to carcasses where many individuals of the same species often aggregate and engage in conflict. Deinonychus may have behaved similarly since skeletal remains from Tenontosaurus sites are often missing pieces, perhaps because these parts were cannibalized by other Deinonychus. Finally, Deinonychus may have captured smaller prey by jumping onto them and holding them down with its body weight. Its large claws would grip the still living prey as the raptor began to eat. While atop the struggling prey, Deinonychus would have used its feathered forelimbs and stiff counterbalancing tail to stabilize itself as it fed. This method of feeding is akin to how birds of prey feed today and similarities between Deinonychus anatomy and that of eagles and hawks are the genesis of this theory. The terrible claw of Deinonychus is its most notorious feature, but its use is also up for debate. This claw has traditionally been viewed as a weapon used for slashing and stabbing at prey. Paleontologists have drawn parallels between Deinonychus and birds like the cassowary, which use their claws to attack or defend themselves from other animals. But some studies have shown that the terrible claw would be a relatively ineffective weapon, leading certain scientists to believe the enlarged talon was instead used to pin down prey. A third possible use of this remarkable feature is perhaps the most unusual. 
mechanical analysis of Deinonychus claws show that their shape is well adapted for climbing. This discovery could mean that the famous sickle-shaped claws of this group of dinosaurs were unrelated to their predatory habits. While this impressive raptor has not roamed the earth since it went extinct approximately 108 million years ago, its impact on our perception and understanding of dinosaurs lives on to today. <laughs>